No, don't do that. <laughs> I was tempted to ram him. I'm like, no, 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 no. Don't hurt my, don't hurt my baby. Ah, uh, I lost my goal. Oh. Oh, it's, wait, it's under here? That's interesting. This is still, uh, radiation. Sounds? Oh my god, how much radiation is detected? Oh my god, I really o had was- I was well beyond the barrier, wasn't I? Were those whale noises? Most importantly, were those different whale noises than are normally made by the, the reef backs? Also, I'm kind of finding that I built that base for basically no reason. Uh, I thought I was gonna go- I thought the Degassi base was down there, cause... Well, I mean, originally, yeah, that was the cave I needed to explore. And I thought that would continue to be an important thing. Alright, let's finish my radiation suit. Just gotta do that real quick. How am I going to- uh, I'm gonna have rebreather problems. Okay. I have to refinish my radiation suit because of the time that it just disappeared when I dropped it. Two fiber, two lead. Should be easy. I might not have the fiber stuff on me right now, though. I don't think I do, do I? That, that should just be, yeah. Alright, so you craft fiber mesh via... The, is it the bulbs or the plant? Uh, it's the main plant. I should have lead, though, right? Yeah, we're good on lead. You know what? I don't need this, actually. It's just right here. Let's not overcomplicate things. <laughs> nope, it's gone. Uh, it's two each, right? So I should grab... Oh, inventory's full. Doesn't matter. Beow. Alright, I'm parked a little close. There we go, my replacement radiation suit. Too bad I can't install my rebreather in my radiation suit. Seems like you'd be able to do that. Oh well. Man, that takes up a lot of space. I might just throw them away, honestly. That's the helmet, the suit, the gloves. Obviously it would suck to lose a piece again and have to craft it again. If it happens to not be the same piece again, but uh... That's so much space to take up for duplicate items, basically. Keep the rebreather, don't make that mistake. Goodbye, I'm polluting. I, I haven't invented trash cans yet. Actually, I have, I just don't. Uh, I just haven't crafted one. And let's not clutter this place up with, with needless things. It's only one room right now. Let's wait till I can make rooms, at the very least, before I make mistakes like that. Anyway. Two of those is probably still fine. Uh... Overall, we're good. Cool. Uh, we've fallen behind a little bit more on food, so I'm just gonna eat something real quick. Hey, buddy. Just get that out of the way before I leave. Zoop. Boom. Okay, come on, dude. There you go. All that's missing is a eat directly out of water button. Just... We've got so much crap lying here now. Just my litter. I don't know why these are here. You think that those would have despawned by now? I think I remember dropping some a while. Oh God! What's that? That's just you guys. All right. Look at you guys charging. Okay, so we should be good to go now, like properly. My rad suit's on. Cool. Totally rad suit. Let's go back to my self scanner.
And we're now vis visiting the radiation zone. And it, it's, I think this is my first time actually using my radiation suit. I crafted it, but then we, I, we just, you know, got busy with other things. I have, I have numerous radiation-related objectives right now. So it should say that radiation's detected still, I want to say. <clears throat> Where's my goal? Down there? Like, right below me? It said radiation detected here last time. Maybe it just doesn't tell you when you have your suit on? What the fuck was that? Jesus. That was really loud and startling. Let's see. I think that was just- I think it was still a normal-ish thing, wasn't it? I hope the shark's not dumb enough to try to attack me. Hey there. Bioreactor fragment. I already got that one, but... Worth a look. No, not you. Oh god, I hope I never accidentally click on that when I'm about to be eaten. Why are you doing- don't do monks chanting and shit. Stop hyping this up. I want- I don't want- I want anti-hype right now. I want calm exploration where there's no risk of anything happening. So I- so- uh. The issue here is the height I'm supposed to go to, or the depth I'm supposed to go to, is too deep for my vehicle and too deep for my- for my breathing. I can't use my rebreather because I have to use my radiation suit. So, I'm just going to have to deal with the reduced efficiency problem. I really hope there's not a new problem here. I, okay, it's kind of spinning on its own right now. I, yeah, I think it's trying to auto-correct back to being not not staring at the ground. But I'm trying to go down. <laughs> ah. Proposed to gassy thingamajig. I see the snake things from before. They were literally called coral snakes, weren't they? They'll go as far down as I can, but... <laughs> Do not take damage. There we go, so stay here. That's good. Light it up. Repair you. Alright, so my oxygen's not gonna last as long as normal. Yeah, I know. I'm not fond of it either. Oh shit. The drooping stinger. It's not talking to me this time. I got that going for me. A room! Is that the room I want? Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, multi purpose room. Cool. Oh yeah, you cannot go inside there, it's full of bad. Uh, but what, there's probably all sorts of stuff I want to scan in there. Ooh, water filtration machine. Just a second. I just need a moment. Oh, fuck it. I don't know how far. Am I going slower than normal? Fuck! Okay, yeah, it's a good thing I went back. Ugh. I feel so slow. I don't think I am slow, though. I like that I have a flashlight, at the very least, that this thing's shooting light down there, so I don't have to worry about light. I don't think I am slower than normal. I think it's just such a big cave that it feels like I'm moving super slow. Okay, yeah, let's just get everything I can from this base. It's not gonna be friendship, apparently. No companionship to be found here. Just more evidence that everyone that I might meet up with ever is dead, probably. Great, thanks for that. Water filtration system, I bet that's useful. I bet that means that I don't have to craft water constantly. Modification station, already have that one, but let's do it. Got me a diamond! Ooh. Look at that. Lithium. Big old piece of lithium. No current evidence that I'm gonna be attacked. Y'all are blocking every way in. You know what? I'm not risking it. We're going out. I'm always gonna leave at 30 seconds. Oh yeah, we lose three seconds at a time. That's terrifying. Ah. It, they just—it just had to be right on the edge, huh? 
oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. It might be possible that this is not the radiation zone down here and it's only radiation up there and maybe I'm safe right now, but I don't really want to risk that. So I'm just going to play it safe for now. You know, play it safe by constantly risking drowning. Because I'm not using rebreather. Wall planter? <gasps> Can I use that to to do what I thought I would be able to do? Like have a planter so I can have renewable sources of f of fuel. Mod station. Thermal plant. Oh my god. This base has so many of the things I wanted to have. That might be it. Fuck! I should have already been headed back. Bad, 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 Ha. Ha. We might be done here. That might be all the things. And yeah, nothing, nothing scary has happened. Nothing really occurred. This is my one way in? No, it's not. Nope. Currently not a lot of evidence of anything being scannable. Oh, observatory. The second floor, right. Shit, how do I know when I'm done? You just gotta be careful and thorough. I guess. An observatory. That's basically what I wanted too, like a second floor thing. Nope. 30 seconds. Go back. Go back. Ah. <laughs> uh, nothing attacked me, at least. All things considered, I'll take the oxygen game over the constant risk of being murdered game that we've avoided, apparently. Ooh, PDA. I don't think I can kill that. Can I sneak past it? I don't know. Uh, you don't want to fuck with jellyfish, generally speaking. It's just not a great call. I don't know, I could risk it a little bit. Maybe save first, just in case. I, I, I don't know why I'm saving. When you die, you lose your stuff. I don't know. Saving periodically is a good idea in case bad happens to game status. <sighs> Most of these are not even entrances the way I'd hoped they might be. That's how I'd want to enter. Oh, there's a PDA in there. Shit, I definitely want to go inside then. There's definitely stuff inside. Oh, it's going to be hard to get through oxygen-wise, so that's also sealed. Ooh, scannable. Stasis rifle. Stasis rifle. If only these windows would break. Nope. 30 seconds. They make them good at Degassi. All right, let's risk it. Let's risk it. Motherfucker, the rebreather works. All right. I mean, you can understand why I'd make that mistake. If I had to go to radi radiation zone to get here, you'd think that that means that there's a radiation... The radiation didn't just stop five seconds later. But it did. All right. Never, so always go in the direction I'm facing. Do not go backwards, or we'll walk into something bad. I already have that before. Not that PDA. Integrating new PDA data. PDA. Signal location uploaded to PDA.
<laughs> what an unusual form of like kind of horror to deal with. Just trying to avoid these guys. Oh man, I'm gonna get a lot of story out of this, aren't I? Alright, we're halfway out of power. I need to go back. Shit, and that's part of why, is because collision problems are scary. Oh no. This way. Ugh. Genuinely scary moment of like, oh god, which way did I come from? Yeah, I'm gonna turn around as soon as I reach half power. Or half oxygen and go back. Okay. Yeah, once I saw the base and how hard it is to navigate, I'm like, okay, surely the rebreather works down here, right? Otherwise, how the fuck do you ever? Gotta be a little aggressive. I'm gonna finish going up here. Uh, you get stuck on a lot of stuff when you're navigating. Anything I can scan? I'm looking- I'm trying to keep an eye out for that icon if it comes up. Is there nothing even in here? This is just a waste of time coming this way? Cool, thanks. For that. Because you kind of also used up this whole trip now. Potentially. Nothing that way. Anything I find in here is probably the end of this trip. Yeah, what is this thing? Data... Data box. High capacity data tank. Yeah. Oh, bed. A double bed. Hooray. I am not risking it. I might be able to finish exploring the area before I run out, but- and, uh... It does take less- <laughs> Time to get back to normal. Watch it turn out that those things don't even hurt me. I've never touched them before. The number one reason I was afraid of them is because I thought the psychic thing that was happening to me was them. Because the first time I ever encountered them, that happened, but it's not happening at all now. So that might have been a complete coincidence. But that was fucking creepy, the way that happened the first time. Yeah, this is also an example of how this game is clearly handcrafted and not a, lo and not a procedurally generated level. Because look at this fucking level I have to navigate here. This is so deliberate. They're creating little, like, kind of platforming challenges in the middle of their survival game. You know, just for a variety of gameplay style. If only you could exit from here. Uh... Really hope I didn't miss one. I'm trying to keep an eye on whether the scanner icon's popping up or not, but I'm also trying not to die, so... Those two things aren't always... Uh, the same th goal. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to my base and then do some reading. That sounds like fun. Yeah, that's gonna be cool. Glad I found the one in the locker. And there's no other pieces. Oh! Quick visual scan. Quick visual scan for any more surprises. Don't see one. Hey there. A little bit of magnetite. Ooh. This is good shit. Good stuff's happening. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna go a little deeper. Not into the base, but further into the cave a little bit, just to get to a visual scan for more- Oh, that looks like one over there. I'm trying to see if I can see any more uh, stuff that they left behind. And grab that. Let's turn the pa I want to turn the light off. I feel safer when I'm not attracting everything to my location. Like that guy. Homie's not chasing me right now. That stasis rifle, that's interesting. What if that'll help- what if that'll help me scan those guys? If I can stasis them. What else could stasis mean? 
And gather those guys? Nope. Anything cool on this platform? Oop, data pad. Oh. Or supply crate. Oh, for, hey, free battery. I'll take it. Not the most exciting thing, but I will fucking take that. Alright. Man, they must have just cleared everything out here, though. They made a whole platform, and all that's on it now is a battery. Uh, I don't like it. I don't like it here. I am leaving. That's that's the room, more or less. That's what I found. May not be the worst idea to install, like, a data room just to scan the area for fragments and see if there's any surprises I never found. Uh, I don't know if it scans this far down underground, though. Oopsie. Yeah, that's how iffy the radiation zones are. Just going back to my sea moth, I go back into a radiation zone. Yeah, you can definitely forgive my mistake there at that point if that's what's happening. Alright, I got a bunch of data, but before I do anything, I'm just gonna wander on back to a safe place. Especially since I'm in a vehicle that's currently consuming power, and I'm underground. Yeah, much to my surprise, I did not have to explore. Not, well, I kind of had to explore, but I mean, like, it's just... It's new map, but not a new biome. When I saw that I was at the red area, and it was accessible via the cave, and it was a thing that, uh... Was it a great distance away? I'm like, oh, fuck. That means that this is pushing me into a new biome, probably. But no, it was just on the opposite side of my HQ. It's just the, conne the connected cave system. That surprised me. And I was- I went a woefully long time without noticing my mistake. This thing's half done on power. I'm gonna have to craft, craft more power cores, or f make progress towards being able to make more power cores. I mean, uh, recharge my power cores. That'd, that's what I would hope for. You know. Because who wants to keep remaking that- re making new ones constantly? Seek fluid intake. Yeah, I didn't have to- do any of that the whole time. That was a way easier trip than I expected. Oh, I should eat. Who wants to be the murdered? Oops. That's the wrong click. <laughs> I got you. Hey, Boomy. Who's your little hors d'oeuvre? And you get to live. Congratulations. I misclicked when I tried to consume your body. Alright. How's the scanner doing? 85%. It's not really a big deal, but why not? Let's just... Oops. Mixed up my buttons. 85... 85%? That one's 100%? Damn. Alright. That's really filling up now. At some point I'm just gonna start ignoring the beeping. Alright. Can you stop telling me to, to self-scan constantly? I don't know. The information's not really changing. I guess it's just giving me the prompt forever. See, no new- I haven't discovered new ones yet. Alright, let's do a save, because we made it back. Uh, we could do blueprints. Let's not look up- let's not do blueprints yet. Yeah, let's- let's read through the actual things I learned about first. Oh yeah, we're gonna get lore. One, two, five, six, two. The numbers are kind of whatever. Hmm. Bart Torgel's log, number one. This world. I thought it might get claustrophobic living underwater. Father feels it is. He'd tell me it was childish, but I stare out of the window and sometimes I think how lucky I am to see this world up close. Back on the island, I wouldn't have believed the creatures that live down here. The fish, they glow. There's one that's 90% eyeball. Snakes twice the length of a habitat compartment. Certainly, it's not all friendly. Most of the plant life is toxic. Learned that the hard way. But 
I've managed to coax some marble melons into growing indoors. And when they don't cover our dietary needs, well, we eat the fish themselves. It's a bit gross, but it's nothing they wouldn't do. I've been attempting to document my findings. Father approves. He says, understanding is power. That the more we know about this planet, the more we can use it to our advantage. I'm just doing it because it's fun. It's not easy without proper equipment and network access, but the old-fashioned way, observing, taking notes, testing theories, shows me the world in a way a spectroscopic analysis never could. Lately, I've been watching the crab snakes. They ambush their prey as it tries to feed on the mushrooms they hide in. What they don't eat settles on the seabed, which fertilizes the mushrooms, which feeds the herbivores, and so the chain continues. Coevolution gives me the fuzzies. The crab snakes. Hmm. This next one's about stalker teeth. I'm gonna point out real quick, by the way. This waveform is bullshit. <laughs> he should be getting wet. Like, I was like, oh my god, what's gonna happen there? What's gonna happen there? Why'd he get so loud? Is there an explosion? I was waiting for like a Bioshock style audio log of like a horrible catastrophe happening mid audio log. No, he's just hanging. He's just really calmly talking the whole time, but the audio, the fucking waveform is like losing its mind as if there's huge volume spikes. Are they all the same? Oh, they're all the same. That's why. Yeah, the waveform is just nonsense. Huh. That'll bother me. Thankfully, if you scroll down, you won't see it anymore. So. Oh. I don't know for sure if we'll ever see anyone from the Aurora or from the... The Sunbeam? Was that what it was called? The one that the people that tried to save me and they're gone now? Uh, we have I've seen two ships crash this game, neither of which were the Degassi. So far I've never encountered a survivor, but... I, I've, I've, I've questioned, like, the people that are on these crashed ships really feel like they were groups of people that would have survived on some level. Uh, they're scientists, and they've got technology, and they've got all this cool shit. Like, they'd make a sea base, right? And then we, now we're finding sea bases, so that's cool. Uh... Is that our first time? Yes, go- the caves are the first places we've seen sea bases so far. Until now, they were always... either crashed ships, or they were, uh... They have been crashed ships, and they have been, uh, escape pods. But in the caves, we found our first sea bases. The, the 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 concerning thing is they're all destroyed. You want to know what destroyed them? Do we know how long ago the the, the gassy crashed in the first place? I wonder. The gassy survivors Altera search and rescue mission. Huh. I don't know. If, I don't know if we know how long ago they crashed. But the, there's definitely the implication of a threat here. Uh, maybe some kind of Leviathan class thing attacked them, because we've encountered that as a classification, but the only thing that we've seen so far is the chill reef backs, but it's a classification which implies that there's more than one. Or it could have been coral snakes, but they seem not super intelligent. They seem to just ambush things that come towards them. Even as that guy says, like, I like that he... He's being a scientist, he's observing their behavior. They're crab snakes, they ambush their prey. Uh, they, like, they hang out inside the mushroom. Anything that tries to feed on the mushroom, they ambush to eat. And then, yeah, leftovers of the stuff they kill uh, fertilizes the mushroom and also the herbivores and it loops and every, everyone keeps living, except for all the things that die, but you know, circle of life, everything, there's a, it's a, it's an active community. Uh, yeah, the question is if that took them out, could have been something big and scary, could have been something local that just went wrong. Could have been a catastrophic failure in the facility itself. Or could have been other scary things, because we have these, uh... Someone said they're, that they're hunting me. Like, that's... Obviously incredibly concerning. What if those people hunted down the Degassi survivors, and that's why all these bases are dead? Because that's, that's the worst option in some case, in some ways. Because that means that something will just intelligently decide to come after me. Which means that, like, even places like this, my my main base, where nothing ever seems to happen, like that could be under threat if something hunts me, because they were on they were safe enough to be doing all this nice, little checking things out logs, and then they uh, and then they all died presumably. Fish down here, they glow. There's one that's ninety percent eyeball. 
Thanks, tw <laughs> twice length of a habitat compartment. That's fun. 